How good will the 3080 be for mining after we can no longer mine Ethereum? Well, I've tested it in depth on over 25 coins, so let's have a look. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram, and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto, or your personal information. Alright, so please be careful, use your common sense, and don't let any of these imposters fool you. Alright, now back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. Of course, nobody can know exactly what will happen to mining after the end of Ethereum, but if you want my best prediction, I actually have a video on that. I'll link that up in the corner there as well as in the description of this video. But in short, we're going to have to mine other coins and having great mining efficiency on those coins, meaning having the most hash rate per watt of power used is going to be very important for profitability. So that's why I've tested the 3080 on eight coin mining algorithms, which are used by over 25 of the most profitable coins. And of course, I've tested them to both find the highest possible hash rate as well as the best possible power efficiency. And I do all my testing using my PMD device, which lets me measure the exact power consumption used by the GPU as the reported power consumption in software can often be incorrect. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at hash rate, wattage, overclock settings, as well as current profitability for all of these coins. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Nerdgears.com is a great online shop for crypto mining hardware. My favorite product of theirs is their 240 volt PDUs that lets you power your mining rigs properly. They are safe to use for up to 7200 watts and come in both regular and metered versions that lets you track the power consumption of your mining rigs. So check them out through the link in the video description and use code SEB for a discount. Now quickly before we get into it, I will be showing you all my overclock settings in this video. However, while those numbers could be a good starting point for you, just know that they will not be optimal for your specific GPU. And that is because all GPUs are individual and need their own unique overclock settings. So if you wanna find the perfect overclock settings for your specific 3080 or any other NVIDIA GPU for that matter, I actually have a video explaining my full overclocking workflow. So I'll leave that up in the card there as well as in the description of this video. And if after watching this video, you feel like the 3080 is the GPU you wanna get for mining, then I'll leave some links in the description to the best Best deals I could find for it on Amazon. Now, for full transparency, those will be affiliate links, which means that if you do make a purchase through those links, the channel gets a small commission at no extra cost to you, basically. But let's have a look at the results. All right, so we are here on the computer and I'll leave a link to this spreadsheet of all my hash rate testing in the description of this video. And as you can see here, all of these coins were tested on my NVIDIA 3080 Founders Edition, which has Micron memory. So unfortunately, um, I tested these first four coins um, a little while back when I first got this GPU. So I don't have all of my results. I only saved the best results, basically. So that's why there's a little bit less information about these four coins, as opposed to, you know, these coins that I tested now today, which you can see I saved all of my results, even though they were you know, non-optimal, for example. So with that out of the way, obviously Ethereum, we all know it can get just above uh, 100 mega hash if you're able to keep the GPU cool. Um, but that is an issue with the 3080, of course, keeping it cool. Um, but yeah, over 100 mega hash, 102, I was able to get with proper cooling. Uh, you can see my overclock settings over here. Uh, the best efficiency I was able to get was still getting almost 102 mega hash, but at 238 watts for an efficiency of 0.427 mega hash per watt. And of course, that's on the ETH hash algorithm or any variant thereof, like the ETC hash, which is for Ethereum Classic. But so these results should be consistent for any coin that uses a variation of the ETH hash algorithm. Moving on, we have any ProgPow variant algorithm. So Ravencoin with their CorePow, Firo with their FiroPow, Neoxa, Zero, you name it. And the highest hash rate I was able to get was 50.5 mega hash or the best efficiency was getting me 50.1 mega hash at 294 watts for an efficiency of 0.17 mega hash per watt. You can see the overclock settings over there. And then moving on to Ergo uh, using the Autolycos algorithm. And I think at least for now, Ergo is the only coin that uses the Autolycos algorithm. But here you can see highest hash rate 222.3 mega hash at 292 watts or the best possible efficiency I was able to find was 219.6 mega hash at 177 watts. Overclock settings out there. And one thing I will say about mining Ergo is that it's a lot better at keeping the GPU cool uh, as opposed to some of the other coins I mentioned like mining Ethereum or Ravencoin where your 3080, if it's stock, is just gonna struggle and be really hot and probably overheat which will lead to thermal throttling. However, mining Ergo is just a lot cooler, almost as cool 
as these new GPU heads stickers that you cannot get at gpuheadswithaz.com. That is our official merch store. Guys, just gonna shout that out here real quick. If you do wanna pick something up, just know that that is a great way of supporting the channel and getting something awesome in return. But next up we have Flux which uses the Zell hash algorithm, which is basically a Equihash variant. We'll see that again soon, but these results, while the actual numbers might differ, it should give a good view of like the overall performance of Equihash uh, algorithm coins. So as you can see, highest possible hash rate, 100 solutions per second at 333 watts, which is obviously a very high hash rate, but power consumption, not great. Um, but lowering our power limit, uh, we could get 86 solutions per second at 234 watts, which definitely better in terms of efficiency there. Moving on, we have Conflux. And here you can see this is a coin I tested today, so it has all of the numbers there, not just the optimal ones. So highest hash rate, 95.5 at 317 watts. And best efficiency was at 93.5 at 279 watts, which gives us an efficiency of 0.335 mega hash per watt. Moving on, we have Conceal, which uses the Kryptonite GPU algorithm, which the highest hash rate we were able to get was 4,870 hashes at 335 watts. And the best efficiency was with locked core of 1,400 and negative 1,004 on the memory clock. Remember, these are HiveOS memory clock numbers. So for Windows, just do half and that gave us a hash rate of 3510 hashes at 190 watts for a efficiency of 18.474 hashes per watt. Moving on, we have Bitcoin Gold, which uses the Zhash algorithm, which is also another Equihash variant. Highest hash rate we were able to get there was 178 solutions per second at 335 watts. And the best efficiency was at 225 watts power limit, which gave us 148 solutions per second at 240 watts. And as you can see there, the GPU does underreport power consumption a little bit uh, by about 15 watts. I had the power limit set to 225, but with my PMD device, it measured at 240 watts. So just keep that in mind. That gave us an efficiency of 0.617 solutions per watt. And finally, we have Eternity using the Kaku cycle algorithm. And best hash rate I was able to get there was 13.8 at 330 watts, or the best efficiency was with a power limit of 225 which gave us 11.7 at 240 watts for an efficiency of 0.049. Now I've plugged all of these numbers into what to mine to see what the current profitability for mining all of these algorithms are. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Wotum, are you worried about GPU mining profitability after the Ethereum merge? Wish you could get into direct Bitcoin mining, but you don't want to have a super loud ASIC heating up your house 24 seven. Well, Wadom makes getting into Bitcoin mining super easy with their complete mining solutions. That includes offering you all the latest ASIC miners, mobile mining containers and power transformers. Or, if you'd rather, they also offer complete hosting services or full facility build-outs. That means that you can run one of your miners in one of their many warehouses. Wadom is the largest distributor of Bitcoin mining equipment in the United States, with their team of over 100 mining experts offering exceptional customer service. They also offer installment payment plans, which makes getting into Bitcoin mining or scaling your current mining operation that much easier. So check them out at wadom.io slash seb or by clicking the link in the video description. All right, so here we are and I've plugged all of the most efficient numbers into what to mine. For those of you who don't know, what to mine is a website where you can plug in your hash rate and wattage numbers for a specific GPU or pick from their preset GPU numbers here and it will show you what the profitability is mining different coins basically. So I've also filled in just 10 cents per kilowatt hour here, but we're gonna try different ones. So let's hit calculate and let's see what the profitability for mining these different coins are. So as you can see here, we have a long list of different coins using all of these algorithms. And on top, of course, right now we have Ethereum making you $2.38 per day. For reference, today's date is the 14th of August, 2022. And then we have Ravencoin in second place, Conflux, Neoxa, Zero, and so on. You can see all of the coins here. I don't need to read them out loud. And as you can see, currently there are only two coins which would be unprofitable mining on a 3080 with 10 cents kilowatt hour power cost. However, let's go to 20 cents and see how things change. You can see still making profit on most coins, but now there's four coins where we would be unprofitable. Moving on to 30 cents per kilowatt hour currently, still 
making profit on Ethereum, Ravencoin, Conflux, Neoxa, and so on. However, of course, now there's starting to be a bigger number of coins that would be unprofitable mining on the 3080. But that's it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. And if you really liked it, you can now join the channel to help support what I do here. It really does make a big difference and it means a lot to me. So thank you. But what you got to do now is you got to click on one of those videos on the screen because this video is over. You can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on one of those videos and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye.